I'm Luke. And I'm Ellen. Welcome to Show of the Weekend. Luke, you're right. Yeah, I'm fine. So I'm just a bit stressed. There's so many games. We played so many at E3. I'm just so Luke, struggling Luke, to get them all Luke, straight in my Luke, head. It's okay. Remember when we were at E3 and I was getting really stressed out because there was a sensory overload and we found like a really good method that really helped calm me down? This isn't the Ellen Rose patented tote technique, is it? Look at the size of this ridiculous bag, Helen. Yeah. You, you give the you've given these out at E3, you put posters in them, that's the idea. We'll see if you all fit in it. <laughs> I think you will. <laughs> I believe in you guys. Get those knees up. <laughs> I can fit inside a poster bag. Proof. See, Luke, do you feel better now? Um, a, a little, actually. It's... Ellen, there's been a terrible war the in space. <laughs> Star Wars. And indeed. <laughs> you played a lot of Star Wars Battlefront. Yes, two. I did. So did Mike too. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We played the bit back in the original trilogy, so you're not playing as Whoa. the rebels. Oh, well. Whoa, Ellen, you said original trilogy, but... Uh, I meant, I meant <laughs> prequel. <laughs> no! Meant prequel trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, breathe, Luke. Breathe. I need to get breathe. back in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Three films that came out before I know! Films. This is what everyone comments! I know! I'm I mean, in the comments all right now, no. I don't think they haven't even finished filming yet. I'm in mean, the comments. We'll cut out all this protestation, we'll just leave in the mistake. No! We'll just leave in the mistake with a long pause, with a close up on my face, like, mmm, and then we'll just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you meant. It seemed like you I meant, meant like you not meant the, the original. Furthest back chronologically. Good trilogy. I mean, like the chronologically. Back chronologically. The... Yeah. <laughs> but because you're playing in the prequels, yeah. that's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're playing in all these kind of like cool uh, areas that you've not played before. There's like some really gorgeous settings. Like, were you in? Feed, feed, I want to say. Feed, yes. Feed. Um, I think it's Naboo. Naboo. <laughs> <laughs> say what you like about the prequels. They had some fun names yeah. for things. <laughs> One, two, three. Naboo. Naboo. <laughs> Try it at home. Yeah. Unless you're on public transport. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're not at home. It looks really cool. Yeah. It it I think Mike was saying it looks better than it did in the movie. Yeah, in, in Mike Phantom and Menace. I both agreed. The world seems so much deeper and you're just running around going pew 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 lasers in it. You get to see much of Naboo. Yeah. yeah. Being able to wander around it is really cool. We went and just like looked at all the vegetables. Excuse me, I'm just Delicious trying to look at mangoes here. Space fruits. They're oh, not mangoes, wow. Ellen. They don't have mangoes here. They might They're space do. Fruits. Well, the, the space equivalent. <laughs> okay. Look. Oh, wow. Is oh, Doth Ball. Ah, Doth Ball. I mean, I looked at the markets. The art, production. the art production yeah. was amazing. And the vehicle. That's because they're amazing films. <laughs> Let's oh, not start on this, James. Right. Sorry, James. I can't, I can't sit here and not say. Cut James, the feed. James, Cut the feed. You, you saw the embarrassment on my face when I realised I'd accidentally said originals instead of prequels. That's how I feel about the prequels, James. James, the commenters love you. I know. Do you want? To Do you want that to, to be uh, thwarted? <laughs> Will Break you risk bond. it all? <laughs> They'll appreciate your honesty. They'll appreciate your honesty. I can see this is tearing you up inside. <laughs> Another great thing about the prequels, genuinely, I think, is the, the vehicles. Yes. The Naboo Starfighter yes. is fantastic. They're really cool. Yes. And so the, the ability to like have those things, those settings and those vehicles, but not the film that they were in. <laughs> Uh, it's a real treat. I just saw James's James car break. James, 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 <laughs> it's really cool. Like I really enjoyed running around that particular area. But at the same time, Ray's in it. James hates the Force Awakens. Oh, I love the Force Awakens. Come <laughs> out of focus, James. <laughs> I look even better out of focus. So I, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to play as any of like the flying machines or anything because I was saving up all my points. Flying machines. Flying machines. Sound like the Wright brothers. I know. <laughs> I didn't get to play in any of the spaceships because I was saving up to be a hero. And then of course everyone, you know, the way that it works, if you watched our Star Wars Battlefront 2 chat, basically uh, you save up points to get the hero rather than 
pick up a random token. Yeah. Which is nice in some ways because it means that the fight escalates, but also not great because it means that if you're a bit rubbish like me, then you don't get enough points till the end. By then, everyone's got enough points and everyone just has to die at the right moment to get their chance to actually play as the hero. I saw some amazing fights <laughs> between the heroes. I mean, a little bit of behind the scenes information on that. If people yeah. were watching that Let's Play being frustrated that like you weren't deploying a vehicle or anything. Oh. We were desperate to get, at E3, you don't have a whole lot of time to play each you game. You have like one session. Yeah, and we were desperate to get, if we could, some footage of Darth Maul, Darth Maul in action and it turned out that that wasn't possible but that's that's what you were saving up for right that's what I was saving yeah. up for it got very frustrating <laughs> so I'm like oh I have to get good <laughs> get <sighs> good it was really cool like and like the, we had some funny moments of like I ran up a staircase and there's suddenly Ray just went whoom, across and I was like oh my god Ray. that does look amazing <laughs> she runs out with the lightsaber like she like, like she's, she's got jousting charge, yeah <laughs> <laughs> you, you, sometimes you just randomly come across one that really suits your style. Oh, oh my god! Oh, did she just, did she just run forward with it, pointing outwards? Kill her! Kill her! <laughs> That's amazing. But yeah, you've got like Ray's got her her cool charge, like, and then Darth Maul has got his like spin attack and stuff, and it's really cool. And another behind the scenes fact, because some people were like, oh, Ellen's not like deploying anything and doing things. We were playing on PC and I have played Battlefront primarily on Xbox One, so I was just like, what are the buttons? <laughs> and I was playing with a load of people who were really like professional gamers and like, and I was like, oh, it's been so long since I played a PC game that I'm so rusty at this and I don't know what is, you know, to deploy. I was like, desperately trying to work out how to throw a grenade. Mash the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Mash the keyboard until the grenades happen. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was a little bit rusty, even more rusty than usual. It's fine. Uh, but I got, I got some good shots in there. You that did. Was, that was good. You did. <laughs> it looks uh, super beautiful. I've played oh, yeah. very little Battlefront, actually. Mm. Uh, like, I've played a few matches, and then I had a lot of fun with the X-Wing VR stuff. But that mm -hmm. wasn't, you know, the main game. That's no. just a sort of little tag on thing. So do you think it's got potential to be really, really massive or will it only interest like Star Wars hardcore fans? Well, the thing is like, cause they tried to make Star Wars Battlefront that nice middle ground so it would please people who play a lot of video games and also encourage people who liked Star Wars but maybe wouldn't play video games that much. So it wants to, to please the like Battlefield Call of Duty crowd. And, yeah, but yeah, also okay. go, hey, Star Wars fans who've maybe never picked up a video game, try this one because <laughs> try it's, this it's one. Star Wars. It's really good. And it is, it's it is 50 good. pounds, we get that <laughs> Give it a go though. It's one of those games that I don't play often, but when I do, I play loads. This is what I tend to do with like, online multiplayer as I jump in, play a bit, and then I'm there for like days. <laughs> like I did that with Overwatch the other week, and this is like- Phone's disconnected, we can't get hold of her. <laughs> so the grid. I've got to get this D.Va capture, you know. <laughs> I got play of the match, it was great. The Star Wars Battlefront series is like, and the same with um, Battlefield actually, is like play the objective, and that's where you get all the points. That's, that's my tip, like play the objective. It's not just about getting as many kills as possible. Yeah. And that's what I like about the gameplay as well. I do as... like the thought of being rewarded for playing the objective. Yes. Seems like such a obvious thing to do. Yeah, yeah, like you get points as well for like taking out other, like, like people from the other team. I almost said other team members, but don't do that. Speaking of friendly fire, mm -hmm. some people were pointing out in the comments, do you think it's weird that Boba Fett is in this and he's shooting clone troopers? Yes. Who, I mean, why are they They're called him. clone troopers? Because they're clones of him. Yeah. They're his brothers, sons. Yeah. Uh, him. What are they um, to him? Clones. Clones. Clones of him. Of his dad. Yeah, clones of his dad. His he's dad. Bobba. The clones are of Django, right? Yeah. Yeah. James, yeah, yeah, give yeah, us a yeah, nod. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So he's oh, shooting no. clones of his dad. That makes, that's fine, because it's like, that's, you're not my dad. You know. <laughs> I remember right. when his dad's head got cut off and rolled over and he picked it up. That really Do I? Desensitized him yeah. To, to the concept of, maybe he's always trying to, get back that moment in the arena, you know, headlessness. Yeah. Yeah, aboard the Slave One, yeah. in the cargo hold. Can barely move for yeah. Heads. yeah, he tries to bring his friends around there just for an evening of video games and Netflix. It's like, don't look in there! Opens Every the door, heads, yeah. <laughs> These skulls look like your skull. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> What anyway, were we talking about? Battlefront 2. Video Star games. Star Wars. <laughs> Fun video games. <laughs>
So, <laughs> what else has changed? From like, you know, there was the Death Star DLC where you had like the space flying bit, and then you had the bit where you go on the land, and then yep. the final bit where you try and take over and get all the data and blah, blah, blah. So they've brought that three-stage combat in. It means that you have like three different objectives. I do like um, the thought as well that you could, you could have like a game that's not great, not really going your no. way, but you sort of know you in the back of your mind. Around. In a minute, this is going to like completely change up, and I'll yeah. be in space or yeah. underwater with Gungan breathing equipment, or <laughs> I don't know some crazy stuff. The match that we played, it's like you're all out in the open trying to get this big ship further in, and then you explode something, and the space gets gradually tighter and tighter. Right. So you're kind of like coming into a narrow point, which makes it easier and harder in different ways. I saw some um, of the footage of the end, and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it really escalates. And then that, alongside the heroes, that you know everyone's got more points, so it's more likely to have heroes by the end. <laughs> <And it> really, <laughs> yes, basically. Anyway, Star Wars Battlefront Two is really good. It's I out later this it. year. <laughs> you know what else is out later this year, though, Ellen? What? The SNES Mini. Ah! That's right. You remember the NES Mini? Yeah. Bless you. SNES Mini. SNES <laughs> This will all come out. Yeah, there's the, the... Following on from the NES Mini. <laughs> I'm the one with the NES Mini. You do have mini NESs. <laughs> Americans call it an SNES. It, it, it's confusing. And I'm like, no, it's NES. Make of that what you will, America. You remember how the NES Mini was quite cool, yeah. but Nintendo basically didn't make any. They, yeah. They, made, they only <laughs> they made, made six. Five. They made one for Shigeru Miyamoto <laughs> and like two for his mates. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, well, the SNES Mini, maybe they'll make more. We maybe don't know. they'll make seven. <laughs> maybe they'll make seven. Maybe Shigeru Miyamoto has made more mates since then. I know that pre-order went up recently and mm -hmm. pre-orders have vanished, so <laughs> <laughs> all seven are gone. <laughs> But nevertheless, it looks super cool. We're yes. super psyched for it. Yes. It's got a roster of incredible games. It really is like a proper best of the SNES. Yeah. Some of those, the lineup of, of what comes built in is absolutely phenomenal. So we figured maybe yeah. we would try and hold a little competition Ooh. to see what is the game on the SNES Mini that you should play first when you hypothetically get one if you're one of Shigeru Miyamoto's seven <laughs> friends. So Ellen, what if you're the judge? And me and Andy, Jane and Mike, we will all pitch our ideas for what should be the first game that you play on the SNES Mini and we'll see which one you like best Sorry. and that and that will be the winner. I'm in charge. I decide. You're in charge. Yes. Bring it. Yes. Here we go. Who's going first? Oh, it's Luke. You were just hit. Hi. Ellen. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Trusted friend. Mm -hmm. We've had some times, haven't yeah. we, Ellen, on the channel? Yeah. It's, it's been <laughs> an adventure, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it has. And we've shared that. Yeah. We have a, to sway the jury. We have a special... I'm just... Cut to the chase, Westaway. Look, I'm getting to it. I'm just pointing out that there's a special bond. That's all. Star Fox 2, though. <laughs> so... <laughs> Star Fox 2 mm -hmm. is the obvious choice for what to play when you get your SNES Mini. Right. Uh, and here is reason number one. Uh, it's never been released. This is a game that's sort of entered myth, basically, because it was so close to being finished, uh, and then it got cancelled. Mm -hmm. um, the reasons were, like, it was just later on in the SNES's life cycle, and other consoles were coming out that were better and more powerful, and yeah. it looked a little bit bobbins by comparison. But today... Charmingly retro. <laughs> bobbins, you say? No, no, no. Charmingly retro. This, this, this is a chance to get the official version of an unreleased game. So that's very special. Secondly, Star Fox, which was called Star Wing yeah. in Europe, confusingly, was very, very big in my childhood and I just loved it and it's unbelievably fantastic. It's got some great characters whose faces you only ever see, like little and small. No, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but despite that, there's a lot of characterization. You know that Fox is the sort of brave all-rounder, mm -hmm. leader of the gang. You know that um, Peppy the hare is like old and a bit wise and a, sort of he annoying. Did a barrel roll. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Right? I mean, that was, that was from the later game, but, but already <laughs> the, the, the cultural <laughs> impact. No, I think I think it was Peppy. Fact checkers are on that now. You, there was then there was Slippy Toad, who was the mm -hmm. actual worst. Uh, and then there was Falco, who was the actual worst. <laughs> So, you know, lots of great characters, uh, two of whom were the actual worst, really. Do a barrel roll! Peppy! That's the one thing I know about Star Fox, other than the fact that he's a fox. <laughs> I'm at pains to point this out because I know you're deciding who wins, but it's hair, not a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna 
Okay, look, look. Starwing, uh, it's a charming game. It was one of the, the very first games to really jump into 3D graphics. And if you play it now, you can really tell because it, it looks so weirdly shaky. But impressively still playable. And it's, it's like aerial dogfighting combat. It feels really good. Mm -hmm. It's really, really excellent. And I just think it has so much to offer. It had an incredible soundtrack. Let's hear a little bit of that Corneria theme now. That will make sense. And <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really great. And it's a chance to play the sequel, the unreleased sequel. So. Okay. Don't know what okay. else you want from me. I've ended this too aggressively. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm panicking. I mean, <laughs> that's what I have to offer with okay. Star Fox 2. Okay, well thanks. So uh, that's on my you know, list of consideration. Should I send in the next fellow? Yes. All right. Good luck in there. Nailed it. Can I have the mic, please. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm here to tell you yeah. about why Super Mario World is the best game on the SNES Mini. Now, you're going to hear a lot of talk about Star Fox 2. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a game that never came out. It could be bad. What if it's mm -hmm. bad? What if after all that time, Star Fox 2 turns out to be bad? Then what? You'd be like, oh, now it's retroactively ruined Star Fox 1. I say never release it. I say burn the code. But a game that we do know is great mm -hmm. is Super Mario World. I mean, it's regularly in the top 10 video games of all time. It was the game that really, I mean, Super Mario Brothers was good for the time, but really that was when Mario became the biggest video game star in the world. Super Mario World, 96 levels. That's the one that introduced Yoshi. You had the cape in yeah. there. You had the secret levels in like the star roads. <laughs> Flying underneath level exits to find secrets. I mean, that is a game that you could legitimately play for a year and still be finding new stuff. They should just release a SNES Mini with just Super Mario World and I would still pay the same amount for it because that is how good Super Mario World is. You might be right, Alan. He's very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Do you feel it's a bit of a safe choice you've gone with there? If I was going for a safe choice, I would have gone with Zelda, Link to the Past. I mean, but Why you know. You go for the safe choice? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I'm thinking about what I would most like to replay now, and I think it's Super Mario World is so great for dipping in and out of as well. You can just do a world in like two or three minutes. If you haven't got time, you're making dinner, you go, oh, that's just cooking. Do a couple of levels of Super Mario World. Just pop back and forth. And the other reason I'm doing it is because Chrono Trigger isn't on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I Make know. A strong case here. <laughs> so sad. Here are some other games I could have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, Super Mario World, best game on the SNES, quite possibly. It's up to you to, to decide. All right. See who's next. All right. Hi, Hi. Ellen. Hi. Hi. Your hair's looking lovely today. Oh, I thanks. just thought I'd mention. Thanks. Um, how are That's things? Good. Have you made any flattery? <laughs> <laughs> the game was good. The game stands on its own. Have you come to me with a car game? No, no, I haven't. Oh. What I've come to you with is Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Right. It is the greatest 80s sci-fi movie never made. Right. Don't you mean Super Probotector Alien Rebels? No. <laughs> I don't even want to know what a Probotector is. <laughs> It's a good way of maintaining your Robo. <laughs> the correct right. version is Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Yes. Uh, because instead of two robots, it features two oiled up muscle men. Who doesn't like oiled up muscle men? Uh, essentially, this is one of the best co-op games of all time, right? So yeah. the, the SNES Mini comes with two pads. What better way to take advantage of the full package than playing one of the best co-op shooters ever? Essentially, it's a side-scrolling shooter. It's you, your two muscle men, shooting wave after wave of terrifying aliens. And there's stuff like a, a, an entire mission where you're hanging by one arm from the bottom of a helicopter and shooting missiles out of the sky. 
such upper body strength, such action. Yeah, I have heard that it is like Contra is like notoriously difficult. Yes, it's tough. The first Contra was too, just too hard and kind yeah. of boring. Yeah. Contra 3 was where they really perfected the difficulty level. It's like just hard enough that you'll make a little bit more progress each time, uh, but not so easy that you'll breeze through it on your first go. It's got some amazing boss fights. So the, all the bosses are absolutely enormous. There's one where you are fighting two robot skeleton Terminator guys. <laughs> You kill them, you think it's over. No. Two claws come through the back and the entire back of the screen is ripped off. And there's an even bigger robot skeleton Terminator who shoots lasers out of his eyes. Tell me you're not blown away by that. I'm blown away by that. So to, con <laughs> to conclude, oil that muscle, man. Giant robot Terminators. Right. Any questions? Exactly. Mario, Super Mario World is also player. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention that Star Fox maybe is oiled up. <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario World doesn't require two controllers because you take it in turns, whereas this, you are both on the screen at the same time. Ah. It's amazing. It it's really, really good. Everyone's played Super Mario World, whereas the face you made really? suggests that you probably haven't played Contra 3, oh, yeah. and you well, absolutely you should. Super Mario World? No, actually, I've only played Super Mario Land 2 <laughs> the hell out of that on my Game Boy. That's the so rubbish I didn't, I didn't have a SNES. Two. It's not <laughs> the rubbish one. It's got the best music. Whoops, I've blotted my copybook <laughs> there. <laughs> Did I tell you how nice your hair's looking today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ne next, please. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o
tough times. Yeah. Uh, I would also like to thank Luigi more because he's better. And I think we can all agree, Star Fox 2 is rubbish. <laughs> I, I do want you all to know that like my actual actual answer is Super Mario Kart because I never got to play it as a kid. So. Oh, just, just no one put that forward. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. If you'd chosen that, it would have been immediate win. Standing one by default. Yeah. Default. Default. <laughs> default. <laughs> While at E3, Ellen got her hands on Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, while I made some insightful commentary on the characters. It's okay, oh, Peach worry. can take it. She's she's stronger Peach. than him. Look at right Luigi. Now. Look at him. You're just carrying Shame it. Shame on the bit. unit. <laughs> Don't dance, Luigi. Peach can dance. Mario can dance. Shame on the unit. Yeah, Luke, uh, Rodrigo Centeno noticed that you were making a lot of negative comments about a particular character. I knew that Luke didn't like Luigi, but this video makes me think that if you wear a Luigi's hat close to Luke, he's going to attack you. I can't imagine what his thoughts were during the year of Luigi. It was a dark time. Luigi memes everywhere. Blood boiling in my veins. You're right, Luke. <gasps> Elsewhere on the channel, Andy and I looked at the latest Spider-Man PS4 trailer and discussed our feelings on Spidey's costume. If it was up to me, the mask would be like 90% eyes. And I thought that generally the, the whole costume looked good, but you didn't uh, like the I really don't like, like the white, the white spider. detailing. I don't like the white detailing. Why? I don't it just doesn't it just doesn't look right. I don't know why. It's just white on red, blue and, and white on a Spider-Man costume for me it doesn't work. I think that that Spider should be black. Well, it looks good to me, and that's why it's on this list. <laughs> I'm afraid that commenter Silver Golem decided against the white spider on the costume, Luke. Andy is right. Luke is wrong. Sorry, Luke, but you can't win them all. Well, I just thought the white was quite nice. Yeah, 2 and 0, oh, suckers! Okay, right. All right, all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> In last week's show of the weekend, we looked at Mario Odyssey, AC Origins, and revealed some presenting secrets. Yeah, we probably should have mentioned we film everything upside down. Yeah, we're ceiling folk. We're on the ceiling right now. Everything's Better from Yorkshire was upset by our ceiling revelations. Damn ceiling folk taking all the presenting jobs. Never leave anything for us wall folk. Arrgh. Well, things are just on the up for us right now. Plus, flies seem to make great documentaries on you folks. Luke, that's an awful pun, and that's not what fly on the wall means. But anyway, look, don't worry. Sorry, you know, things will get better for you. Just hang in there. Elsewhere. We got our hands on the new Pokken Tournament game. Oh, you hit me. Oh, ow, ow, oh, ow, 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 Lots of people commented on the strange noises you make during fighting games, Ellen, including Dino Dive, who said, one minute 26, werewolf, Ellen. <laughs> werewolf? What gave you that idea? <laughs> Uh, Andy, something silver, something silver, something silver, something silver, something silver. What am I supposed to? Oh, so Luke, are you really glad that that heat wave's over? You didn't seem to deal with it very well last week. Also, could you pass me the hairspray? Because my ponytail's going to go any second now. <laughs> Just die. But he died on died. the way. He died. Much better, thanks. But I'm not the only one who suffered in that heat. I've got so many bruises on my knee. I don't even know where they're from. Hockey? I haven't done any exercise. Maybe it's like scurvy, <laughs> old bruises popping up again. We'll get you a lemon afterwards, it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, there's been quite a few mysteries on this couch. I mean, remember when my phone went all weird and like zoomed in and added an extra hidden message? My phone keeps locking itself, that's the joy of show of the week. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> my wife. <words>. Luke. <laughs> Luke, if you were, what one of it be? I, I am my waz. Was. <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? So, Ellen, are you waz? I am waz. Are any I of am us? I was. Um, I am waz. We are all <laughs> waz in a, in a way, in a very, in a way. In a very true way. Well, yes. thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's loads yes. more show of the weekend if you enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably in a a thing on the screen yeah, right now somewhere, somewhere or somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> you can figure it out. It's not that difficult. Just search show of the weekend. Yeah. Um, and if you did like this and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. then you should subscribe. You should thumbs up the video. Because really, if you've watched all of this and you haven't turned it off, then you, you really are our kind of people. Yeah. So, you know. yeah. <laughs> so do subscribe. Okay. Uh, and thank you for watching, guys. And Andy's just, <laughs> just stroking, stroking his, his, his award. This old thing. Woo! <laughs> 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 Okay, Luke. Okay. We'll go back in the bag.